We did a really baby course at Hicks Lodge the other week and it was okay. So we're back at one of our favourite and incidentally closest trail centres. My forearm is much smaller on the broken side um, and I fell off my horse this week again. So my shoulder is a bit sore, but we're still going to do it. So um, this is my little back riding last leg happy dance. <laughs> I know that I fell off and I've done it several times before um, because I get scared of the speed and lean back and take the weight off the front tire and then I have a washout. So I've really been trying to focus on pushing down and getting the corners really good. So it's probably not pretty, it's definitely not very fast. My hand is super achy now, I'm pumped. You can really see the difference between my forearm muscles. But I think I've watched lots of Kyle and April YouTube mountain bike videos. Um, whilst I've not been able to ride and I'm really trying to put that into practice so literally every corner I'm like outside leg down, elbows, weight in the front, look around, brake before you turn. It's working, I haven't come off yet. <laughs> Good job, kids. We're done. I didn't fall off. I'm a little bit achy, a little bit out of breath but I've got eight weeks to be as fit as I can possibly be for Qantas's first novice ride. I like to be in tip top shape because, and I learnt this from a young rider that is now a, a very, well not a very senior senior because I'm a senior, she's more senior than me. It's slightly offensive isn't it? Sorry Becky. But I learnt this from a young rider when I was little, I really really kind of looked up to. And it's that a fit rider can take a tired horse around but a tired rider can do nothing with a fit horse. So, to give Qantas the best chance, I will have this face more often from now on. <laughs> hey, Yazid, you ready to come in? It's like, no, no, I don't want to. So, Yazid is healing pretty well. I put a photo in for you to see. Um, however, the bandage is causing some major issues. So, at first, the taller bandage was really compressing the tendon, so they've gone to a shorter bandage, the tendon's still pretty swollen, a little bit bowed, um, and that's still quite sore. 
but also the shorter bandage is putting more pressure on the front of the hoof so he's now got like a proper pressure saw there and if you touch around the actual wound nothing is fine now he's pretty lame and the front is super super sore so <laughs> one problem after another but he seems to be healing really really well and hopefully these are hurdles we can get over my favorite bit of these apart from his dazzling personality <laughs> Is his ears are so diddy. I know, I'm sorry. And they've got like a black kind of edging. So when you're riding him, he's got like little black tips to his ears. If I ever ride you again, huh? <laughs> So I don't know where the lovely British weather has gone. I've just bought Qantas in from the field and he's very, very soggy. Um, but we are now one week out from his... What is, what is on you here? Who knows, that is, that's gooey. Um, we are one week out from his first pleasure ride, so this will be his last... Um, the last time I ride him until then, it's um, three days. Three days until then, and he'll get persoid in between time and I'll walk him out and stuff. But this is his last kind of proper training. So I've got my high vis on and we're going to brave the weather and go do a nice little kind of 8k ride around the woods. Take you with us for a spin. Oh dear. I'm gonna have to move the wheelie bin out of the way. You're gonna be okay about this. Oh good boy. Not many horses would be okay with this, but thank you boy. I would say you're bomb proof, but you're not, are you? Well done! Good boy! Couple steps. Done. Good boy. Here we go. Climb a leg, please. Good boy. Ready? <laughs> oh dear. It's a puddle. Up you go. Oh, I know it's hard. You can do this. Good training for you. Come on, think glutes. Think bum. Good boy. Squeeze them. Yes, once it's almost. Once you get to those really green leaves. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Well done. Good boy. I think that is one of the best rides good boy Qantas has ever given me. Um, like, we went solo, obviously, no one with us. Super well behaved, really forward, really good with the traffic as well. And we met some pretty big lorries um, and scary things. But we took it all in his stride, literally. So I'm super happy. This would like normally be when I decide whether, if I've entered a ride, my last kind of ridden work, whether I decide whether I'm going, going to do it or not. And based on today, 100% he's ready for his first pleasure ride. Um, now I'll kind of, I'll pursue him once this week again, kind of two days before the ride. So I'll um, walk him in hand, give him a massage, um, use kind of the, the tens muscle tension release on him and then on the morning of the ride we'll trot him up make sure that i'm still feeling happy with him and then hopefully we're going to our first pleasure ride yay finally so i thought i've just ridden quantus i'd get you an update on this little monkey hello so as you can see he's in a big boy paddock now um 
because I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to put a timeline, hey boy, a timeline of kind of the events and what led up to If you can see the front of his hoof, that's where he started getting pressure sores from the bandage, that and behind the leg. The tendon was getting very, very puffy. So I'll put like a timeline of kind of what it looked like week to week and when we took the bandages off. But because of the pressure sores, it meant that the bandage could no longer stay on. So he was allowed out without a bandage on because it's going to stay cleaner when he's out rather than in a stable um, with all the dust floating around and things. He's actually been really, really good, haven't you? You haven't messed around. You've been by yourself for weeks now. Um, the future is looking bright, fingers crossed. So considering like he broke, there were two chips of bone, um, blood vessels spurting everywhere. You could put your finger down the inside of the hoof. Um, yeah, I know. And the soft tissue was pretty damaged. He's actually fairly sound. So who knows what the future holds for him. But at the moment, it's looking pretty good. And I'm really happy with his recovery. You can just about see the injury there. It's got a little bit of wound cream in. So yeah, it's in the big boy paddock. Look how much space you have, Azid. Woo! So that's kind of a little update. The vet said as soon as he's sound um, and everything is healed, he can go back in with the other horses. So fingers crossed, no more injuries when they all get back together. And then maybe, just maybe, after over a year of setbacks and different injuries for different reasons, I might be able to ride him again. I think I might actually cry if that happens. I'll be so just, so pleased. Um, so fingers crossed, that's what's going to happen and we get, we get the fairy tale ending. Hey Azid. But for now, he's very happy. Now he's in the grass all the time. He's got a massive paddock. You're going to get fat again, aren't you? Oh, well. <laughs>